Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor. And today we're going to be looking at masking, all the ways that you can mask UI elements, and sprite masking. And at the end of this tutorial, I'll expect you to be an absolute expert. So be sure to write down in the comments what you think, and be sure to throw a like on this video because that would be awesome. We're going to be looking at basic UI masking, which includes a just a basic rectangle mask. We're going to talk about the Unity's version of a generic mask. And then we're going to talk about one where a, we've got somebody who's created one, which allows us to do a much softer mask. Then we're going to talk about using the custom shapes with that softer mask to be able to mask off areas. Then we're going to be looking at using those same features that we've just learned and using a scroll rect. So in terms of being able to scroll through content and have all this masked because it's all the same type of thing. And then we're gonna be looking at sprite masks, reveal hidden areas or ways that you can affect the sprites that you have. So once you've created yourself a canvas, you can right click UI and choose canvas. You can right click your canvas, choose UI, and then we can choose image. And this is just going to already be a default square that we might want to use. So I'm just going to get this object, scale it out, and this is going to act as my maskable area. Right click our image, go UI and choose another image. And this is going to be the image that we're going to actually mask off. So we can just call this background image. And I'm just going to expand this by clicking on the anchor point, holding Alt and expanding to the current selection that we have. So it expands to the parent. Now I've got some screenshots which I can add and I will just add the bridge screenshot here. You can see the bridge screenshot is a little bit out of resolution. Make sure that we preserve the aspect and then you can just scale up. Now I'm going to rename the top to maskable image and now we can add a new component to that and call it a rect mask 2D. Press OK and you can see now we've added our mask so we've created a image here which is masked and we can still select the background image and be able to move that around based on wherever we want our mask to be. Now that's great, that's just our first one which is a rectangle mask. Now we might want to do one with rounded mask with something where it's a slight customizable shape. So we can duplicate what we already have and on the maskable image, I'm just going to call that maskable image rounded you can see that it's looking for a sprite. So I've got a bunch of sprites that I've already created and I'm just gonna add my rounded rectangle vertical. I'm just going to add that to my box and it's still got the image underneath. Now, when we do this, we want to remove our mask 2D and then we're just going to add mask, which is just mask by itself. You can see that now based on my original masked image, which was the rounded rect rectangle vertical, you can see that it's rounded the corners. Now, as you can see that Unity doesn't take into account the alpha channel when we're doing this type of mask. So it makes a jaggedy edge and it looks really quite nasty. So what we can do is actually use an asset that's being created. And this asset is called the soft mask for Unity GUI by Mob Sakai. And it allows us to do a soft mask for Unity GUIs along with various other elements to be able to control how the mask is. So we can go to the top of this asset, go to the code, go to the drop down and copy the link to this asset from the Git page and I'll put the link in the description for you to check out. Then you go into Unity, go to Window, Package Manager, and then you can click the drop down and say Add Package from Git URL, type in the one that you want, and you will get the, soft U the UI soft mask and you can choose to install that in the bottom corner. Once you have that selected, what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the, the rounded and we're just going to call this soft rounded and then we'll duplicate that across like so. But instead of having the mask, we can convert it, but we'll just remove the component from that. And in this place, we're just going to add a soft mask. So soft mask then creates a softer version of the mask taken into the alpha channel of the object that we have. And you've got to make sure that any object underneath the actual masked parent has a maskable component, but we can just click fix now and it will add that for us. Cause you can see when we select our background image, it will have a soft maskable object and it still acts in exactly the same way. But as you can see, when I zoom in, it's not jagged anymore. It's much, much smoother. And of course, what you can do, because it's got a weird white edge, you can just do show mask graphic and untick the option and you get a much nicer option. You can also adjust the softness of that so you can see how it was originally. And when we soften that edge, 
we get a much nicer look, especially from distance. So now we're going to look at doing a similar thing, which is just custom shape cutout UIs. So in the exact same way as we did before, is you can create yourself an image and I'm just gonna leave it as image. I'm just gonna remove the two that I had before and then I'll use my arrow sprite on this. What I'm going to do is I'm just gonna scale up my arrow sprite like this. I'm going to add a component, add the soft mask to it. I'm going to then right click on the image in, go UI and then choose another image and this is just gonna be my background image. Then what I could do is add a different asset, which will be my image. Again, preserve the aspect on this one in particular. And I can scale it all the way out to match with the content that I want this to feature in. And I can go back to the image and I can click fix now and remove the show mask graphic. And then we can choose any sort of custom sprite shape that we have and conform that to a specific shape and image that we want. And I will put this on my Patreon, this entire project with all the different sprites that I've already created and with all these different examples for you to use. Now we're going to be looking at something called a scroll rect, which allows us to scroll across specific assets that we've got and use the masking in exactly the same way as we've already done. If you've got yourself a canvas, you can right click on that, choose UI and then choose scroll view. Then what I'm going to do is open my scroll view. I'm going to parent the content to the my new scroll view object. I'm going to get rid of viewport, horizontal scroll bar and vertical scroll bar. So now I've got my content, which is an empty game object. What you can do is you can change the background of your scroll rect and I'll just use my rounded rectangle. And then I will just scale this object out slightly so it's bigger and I will just centralize this. Now we have the content, which I want it to be as big as the current bounding box that we have by dragging out. But then what I want is to be able to have more content than that. So I can just drag this content bar out because we're going to be able to scroll across. Then in our content box, we want to add the specific content that we want to create. So what we can do is we can, we can create a new image again, which is going to be a masked image. May, I'm going to make that the size of this box, create it like this. I might add my rounded rectangle horizontal to this object and you can see that it's placed it here. I'm going to right click it again, choose UI and choose image. And then I'm just going to add my background image to this. So I might add the Glacier Cave this time. I'm going to expand this by holding Alt and expand that to my object. I'm going to preserve the aspect and scale this out slightly so I can get the exact view that I want. On my masked image, I want to add the soft mask, press fix. And now we have ourselves our first item within it. And now you can see that for the scroll view, the scroll view also needs to actually take into account the object. So we can add to our scroll rect, we can add the soft mask and you can press fix. And now when we press play, you can see that the image is actually confined to the actual scroll rect itself. So we've actually used what we had and we created an image which also had a cutout and now we've also got the scroll rect which cuts out the other content. So now the content I can just add a couple more masked images like so and I can drag this mask images along here and the other one along here. You could click on your content and add a horizontal layout group and then it will actually position all your pieces much nicer against one another with an even spacing. And again, you can select any of these objects and change the images on them. And now when we press play, we have got a bunch of images which we can scroll from which have also been masked. The one last thing we're going to be able to want to create is a sprite mask and a sprite mask allows us to mask specific areas on a sprite. You could reveal another object or you could create a cutout to make a sort of show and hide game. What we can do is with any specific sprite that we have, I'll grab my ice river like this and I can just drag it into my scene. And this is just a sprite like in a 2D game. This is not based on a UI. So how do we create something which is going to mask off a specific area? Do is I can add my circle sprite here and I'm going to add a new component which is called sprite mask and then I've got my sprite mask which would be here in the center of my screen. What I'm going to do is get rid of the sprite renderer component then in the actual sprite section we're just going to add the circle object and now you can see the orange line around that. Now this object is going to act as our 
mask, but it can't do anything with the image because we haven't set anything. Now in our image, we can see the mask interaction is none. If we say visible inside the mask and we press that option, you can see that our current sprite that's got the mask on it, you can see that it's only visible inside that current mask, just like so. So we can sort of find a hidden object game or something like that. Now, what we can do is I could duplicate that image and I could add a different one, which is Glacier Cave. And you can't see anything at the current moment, Glacier Cave. We can set that to visible inside the mask. And then our original, we can set that visible on the outside of the mask. So in this instance, we get the original sprite which we had. And then on the inside, you can hide something in here. So you might need to search for it, or it might be just a hidden clue to something that you want with your game. So this just allows you to create various functionality with masks and sprites throughout different elements of Unity. So be sure to make a comment if you have any suggestions, improvements, or ways to make this better. And I'll put this entire package on my Patreon for you to check out. And you can also get access to scripts, entire projects that I've released throughout my Unity tuition days. So you can get hold of that and supporting me would really help me out. So be sure to come and join me on Discord if you want to chat. Don't forget to check out my great assets on the Unity Asset Store. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.